Hi Capricorn. I hope you're all having an amazing weekend. This is your Mercury in retrograde reading. Um, it began on the 21st of April and it will last until May 14th. So we're going to see what messages need to come your way for this Mercury in retrograde. We are still experiencing energy from the new moon in Aries, which was the second new moon in Aries season. Um, something that is definitely rare. And a total solar eclipse, which happened the same day as the new moon, the 20th of April. Um, and that energy lasts us until 2025. So the, both of those readings are already on my page for you. This is going to be your Mercury in re retrograde. Mer Mer Mercury in retrograde reading. And this is how it's going to affect your sign. Get ready. This Mercury retrograde may be complicated and confusing, but the experience could eventually become rather interesting and enticing. When it begins on April 21st, it will station retrograde in your fifth house of pleasure, lust, and creativity, which could lower the heat in your current relationship and leave you feeling artistically stifled. However, there's a good chance you may reconnect with an old lover which will remind you of a feeling you've been missing. It could even encourage you to pick up a creative project you've abandoned and picked up and pick up where you left off. All right. Creativity, pleasure, lust, a past love. Let's see, let's see. Capricorn, you know to always take what resonates. And always watch your rising moon and Venus sign readings for additional clarity and messages. I do offer personal readings. The link to my Etsy shop is down below. However, I am on vacation mode right now to get caught up on personal readings and life. I do expect to have it back open by the 30th or maybe like May 1st um, if everything goes as planned. But if you head over there now, you can at least favorite the shop and be notified when I reopen. All right. Capricorn, let's see what messages need to come towards you regarding love. And they wanted to come out right away. We have plain 26. A journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. You will become more full. Some of you could be traveling during this time. Um, you could be, you know, a different state, a different country from the person that you're thinking about or dealing with. Moon, 21. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. With the moon, I feel like secrets being lifted, things coming to light. Also, I feel like pay attention to your dreams during this time. You may be dreaming of someone specifically or your spirit guides could also possibly be coming to you and giving you clarity and direction. All right. Not really rocking it with the shuffle right now. All right, first message from the person you're either thinking about or dealing with. I'm beginning to focus on my mission and our connection is part of that. So this person that is coming towards you is just figuring out what their journey is and what they're meant, meant in this lifetime to be here for. We are all alchemists. We transform fear into love and shadow into light. This is all of us responsible for what we're manifesting in our life, the seeds that we're planting every day. Are you doing it with a good heart? Are you doing everything that you put put out into the universe with good intention? Are you a good person? Now, do you have to be each and every minute of the day? No, none of us are perfect. What are you thinking about and dreaming about and what are you, where are your emotions geared towards? These are the things that are coming to light for you. There's going to be growth. The same divine energy flows in each of us. This energy is the catalyst to our reunion. We just need to allow this energy to work its magic. 
So here there's a reunion for some of you. Two people coming together. We have three, three here. Actually, we have three, three, three. And the last one. I want to let my guard down, but my fears make me lash out in self-defense. So if you are feeling a distance from someone, if there's been an argument, if you felt like, you know, what did I do? I don't really feel like I said or did anything to make this person treat me this way or say these things to me. They're fighting their own demons. They're fighting things that they've been through in their life and past relationships. Something about the last time you spoke or something that, you know, went on between the two of you might have been a catalyst or a triggering moment for your person. All right. Oh, look what this one's completely switched. Detachment and cold. So with this, and I'm not knocking air signs because I'm completely an air sign. Many houses, my rising and sun sign. But there might have been someone maybe, you know, that has strong air in their chart that could have went emotionally cold on you. But this didn't flip over. It was just... The wrong direction. All right, let's see. Cycles, completion, change. I feel an ending did have to occur. So that this person and maybe even you, you know, cross watchers, um, Capricorns, take the energy as it resonates. But I feel an, 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 a change with an ending and a transformation. This person looks really, poor, really battered. And for those of you that are walking away from those batter types of toxic energy, I commend you. I mean, I, I have the utmost respect for you. Actually, this picture is kind of disturbing. But anyhow, it's the change of a cycle. It's the ending of a cycle, a change in the energy. Transcendence, unity. This is your heart, mind, and soul becoming one. And this also could be more transformation within your person. <clears throat> Contracts, career commitments. Now with this coming out, Capricorn, <clears throat> anything you may be signing during this Mercury in retrograde, contract, um, a, you know, purchasing a home, signing a lease or a deed, make sure that you read all the fine print. This could be financial issues that your person needed to climb out of. This could be also things that you were going through. Preventing harmony between you and another. Yeah, see? There's some kind of toxic energy here and a needing to end that. I'm going to get messages. Oh, no, I already did that. Oh, good. All right. I'm sorry, I have the windows open and in the distance there is a little kid screaming. And I really like I really hope it's just a temper tantrum and not anything more than that. But it's kind of disturbing that I can hear it from all the way over here. That's what my focus was on. I love the the windows being open, but it just was getting my attention. All right, Spirit, for Capricorn during this Mercury and retrograde, Capricorn's energy, Knight of Swords. So like I said, could be dealing with an air sign. But it's like you're taking control of your life. You're seizing the day. You're moving maybe fast towards something or someone. Strong air energy, you might have been the one who meant emotionally unavailable on someone. If it didn't seem right what you were receiving back and you knew that, you know, you deserved more, you know, you knew that there was underlying issues, you might have went emotionally unavailable, but I, I just see you making a fast movement 
on something. Gemini energy. But air energy, so you could have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in your chart. The energy of Capricorn's person. The page of cups. They could have been a younger water sign for some. Cancer, Pis Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Wanting to reach out and make that romantic gesture. I feel like they're thinking very hard about you. Um, you know, missing you. Wanting to reach out. Make their gesture and say exactly the right thing to you. Possibly an apology for some. What is the past energy between Capricorn and their person? Ace of Wands. That passionate breakthrough. So any movement that I feel that you're making towards this person, I do feel you have passion for. You have a desire for them. It's like you've been manifesting this breakthrough, especially with the alchemist here. I really feel that both of you are in each other's thoughts and emotions and you're manifesting this breakthrough to happen. Again, I really feel you both are missing one another. What does the future hold? The future holds union. Look at this. King of Coins energy, which is what you are. And the Queen of Swords. Again, air energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. See how this per... Yeah. Air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Sorry, guys. See this person lowering their sword? You know, it's usually upright like you know come at me with the right offer like I'm I'm mentally grounded these days I've had enough I'm, I've had enough with the facade I've had enough with the toxic cycles I've had enough with you not letting me all in but I feel that this person is allowing their sword to come down I do feel you're going to hear from them and it's possible, that, you know, they're watching you from afar. It's like you're looking this straight on. So it's like you're moving towards the future. You've made a plan. You're very distinct about what you want. And I feel like they're coming towards you and you're going to, you know, you're not expecting it. And what is the overall message for Capricorn and this person? See, at one point, I do feel you may, you were a little bit closed off. You know, with you moving on, you may have had other options. With you being an earth sign, you could have been more focused on your, um, your work, your career, putting more time into that. So you thought less about this person in the situation. But again, if you see, this person is beginning to lower their swords. So I do feel you're going to be open to this communication. Where finances were an issue, or where these demons or this top, you know, this triggering energy for them might have stemmed from them as a child and maybe family issues, I feel like they're coming towards you very grounded. Thinking more towards long term. I feel that you always thought the outcome with this person in this energy was wishful thinking. And yes, you're going to be a little bit hesitant moving towards it. But I feel you're both eventually going to allow your emotions to show. All right, let's see what else we got, Capricorn. Just a quick reminder, this month for April, I'm giving away three free love readings. So for those of you that are new, I'm grateful you're here. Cross Watchers, so grateful. Go ahead and subscribe. Um, and for being a part of my journey, each month I do giveaways. It's never just one reading unless it's like a 45-minute reading that I'm offering. So it's um, three free love readings, typically between, you know, 15 to 20 minutes long. All you need to do is be a subscriber and leave a flower emoji in the comment, sec comment section of each reading. And then at the end of the month, which is next weekend, I will randomly choose three people 
and reach out to you around that time, letting you know that you won the free reading. Of course, I'm going to remind you guys during the weekend readings next weekend to pay attention to your notifications. All right, let's get into it. Look at this. You know, Capricorn, you may be thinking about moving towards them. I really do feel like you're missing them also. Maybe just reaching out to see how they are. It says your best friend, your lover, the one that holds your heart together. So for some of you, this is a soulmate connection. You may have been an option to your person. You may have felt that your person had other opportunities, other people interested. And I feel like you weren't dealing with that. You wanted them all. It was all or nothing with you. And I don't blame you. For those of you that feel this soul tie, you knew what you wanted. And you, and you moved away from it. You focused on you, even though you felt this magnetic attraction with this person, the soul tie. You still knew what you wanted. But look at this, the Queen of Cups. So where it was a Page of Cups, it's now a Queen of Cups. And for some of you, it was a third party. I'm definitely getting more options Maybe another person. This could be somebody that was distancing themselves from being married. Maybe going through a separation. Trying to leave the long-term commitment that they were in. Because they were unhappy. You know, they might have said to you, I truly need to focus on this right now. Yes, I want to be with you, but I need to focus on this. So you left. You took your heart and what you wanted and you moved on. But I feel like this person wants to come towards you knowing what they want. I feel like they have strong air and water in their chart. You may be dealing with an air sign. I mean, yeah, an air sign and a water sign and needing to make a choice. Or you may have been an option between yourself and this other queen of... I have Queen of Swords and Queen of Cups. I'm going to take the King of Queens as you. But I do feel like they're coming towards you quickly. It's like they want to make an amends. They have their heart, whole heart open now for you. And you, like I said, you may be the one now that has another person in your life. And you need to make a decision. If you're in like the same community or the same environment, like, you know, not a, di a long distance from someone, um, I feel like you're going to be hit up often, maybe invited to some outdoor events with the weather turning nice. I mean, spring here, fall in the Southern Hemisphere. For those of you that are looking for brand new love, get outdoors. This might be when you accept one of these invitations that you meet someone. But for those of you that are missing someone, I do feel it's like you're going to run into them when you least expect it. You or the querent, a person you already know. Boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, spouse, love interest. All right, what else, spirit? See, and there's ball and chain. Like I said, I feel like for some in marriage ending, and a person walking away from an unhappy situation. And that might be why they were afraid to put their guard down. Alright, let me see what else. Where are my Capricorns? Thank you, Spirit. More stability on their part so they can offer more long term to you. They may have told you or you may have said to them that you feel like home to me. Look at this. Remember 
two people that might have been looking in opposite directions at one point. Feeling, look at, the, I mean, they, neither one of them have a smile. It's like now these two are facing one another. Like their body's positioned towards one another. And this came out first. So if I even put it this way, she's like looking behind her like, are you really coming up on me? Now? Why now? You see that I'm doing well? You see me thriving? You see me, maybe I have somebody else and why now? But I just feel an intriguing connection between the two of you. I, like I said, they want to right the wrong. And they're going to work hard. They're going to be very dedicated to this. So here it says the end of the season. So maybe the end of spring. For some of you, it may be the end of another season. I mean, obviously, Southern Hemisphere, you're coming towards the end of fall. Um, well, you're in the middle. So you, you could be the end of fall. Maybe the end of winter for us. The end of spring, maybe the end of summer. All right, let's get Scrapple tiles. It's just this person, they're not done with you. They wanted to be whole to come towards you. I mean, look at this picture. They want to be whole to come towards you. They want to be able to offer you so much more. All right, we have C, H, Z, U, E, A, G, V, R, T, S, O, N, for now, I, I is what fell on the floor, guys, so just so you know. And then these are repeats. All right, Capricorn, take what resonates. You know, maybe if you feel things being heightened in a negative manner towards someone, maybe like walk, take a few steps away, think about things before you say what you're thinking, you know. So what my grandma always used to say to me, think before you react. So remember what I read to you, it's definitely affecting your personal relationships. But there's definitely somebody who's coming towards you. You may already have somebody else, but there's somebody old coming towards you. All right, Capricorn, let me know how this all works out for you. Um, leave that flower emoji if you're interested in the free readings. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And head over to my Etsy shop and just favorite it. And like I said, you'll get a notification of when I reopen. So much love and light for you guys and have an amazing week ahead.